So I did just take a shower, I exfoliated really well, I shaved, and I haven't added any lotion or anything to my body. The first thing I'm gonna do is add lotion to the more dry areas, so your elbows, your knees, around your ankles, and the backs of your hands. This will create a barrier so that you don't accumulate a really dark tan in those areas. Because they are dry, they tend to suck up a lot of the tanning lotion. And so you want to make sure that you add some lotion to those areas so they don't get extremely dark, especially if you're trying to maintain your tan over a longer period of time and you're gonna be using multiple coats of the tanner, you wanna make sure that you have an even tan all around as best you can. And this is gonna be the best way to prevent those spots from getting too dark. Next, I'm gonna use the Loving Tan Tanning Mitt. If you have never used a tanning mitt when you've applied self-tanner, this is a must-have. It protects your hands and makes sure that you don't come out with extremely dark hands, which I've done before. So I'm gonna start off by applying the Ultra Dark Tanner, and I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours. The longer you can let your tan sit without showering, the better and darker your tan will be. So usually I like to apply it in the morning and then the following day I will take a shower. What's up you guys? It's been two whole weeks since my last check-in. So today I wanted to give you guys a quick little update what I've been doing to maintain my tan for the last two weeks and some of the troubleshooting I've been doing to help um, like reduce patchiness and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys the essentials of everything that you're going to need and what you're going to do to help you to maintain your tan for two weeks. First day, exfoliated really well, made sure to use lotion on those areas that are dry, like your elbows, your knees, um, neck, tops of your feet, and your ankles just to make sure that those areas don't absorb too much of the mousse. Then I used the ultra dark tan. Two days later, I applied the gradual tan. This is the lotion that um, is super ultra moisturizing and also gives you just a subtle little bit of color to help you to keep up with your tan. Um, keep in mind that each day in between, I made sure to moisturize my skin with regular lotion really well. So first day, ultra dark, Two days later, gradual tan. Two days after that, I used the dark mousse. Make sure you guys also, when you are applying your lotion, when you're applying your mousse, when you're applying your face tan, every single time, use a glove. I can't recommend this more because it is so essential to make sure that you don't um, turn your hands really, really dark orange. And then I also try to make sure to wash the palms of my hands really well with soap after I apply tanner. I especially exfoliated the areas that seemed to be troublesome, including my elbows, my wrists, the tops of my hands, the tops of my feet, my ankles, my knees, and my neck. Those seem to be the areas that I really need to keep up on and make sure that I am exfoliating. I highly recommend getting the Loving Tan um, Tan Removing and Skin Polishing Glove. It's really nice because it has two different sides. One is a little bit rougher and the other one is a little bit smoother but still exfoliates. These are great to use in the shower when you are prepping before your tan and while you are maintaining your tan just to help you to exfoliate the areas that are starting to get a little bit patchy. So day one, ultra dark. Two days later, the gradual tan. Two days after that, the mousse. Two days after that, go back to the gradual tan. Two days after that, mousse. Two days after that, gradual tan. Two days after that, mousse. Making sure that you're moisturizing every day in between. And if you um, want to use the face lotion in there as well it works great for my face usually the tan doesn't last quite as long because i am moisturizing and, and um, exfoliating my face more than the rest of my body but like i said the tan still looks really great there are some spots that started getting a little bit patchy however anytime they started getting patchy i just applied the mousse instead of the gradual tanner on those areas and it helped to smooth out the color really well, make it a lot more subtle. It doesn't make it absolutely perfect, but it does absolutely make that patchiness a little bit more subtle. Nobody's gonna notice it um, from far away. Maybe somebody would notice it up close, but honestly, it's, it's 
really minimal. So that is how I maintain my tan for two whole weeks. I hope this video helped you guys to get a better idea of how you can maintain your tan for as long as possible and make your tan well worth the money. If you guys have a favorite tanner, please let me know what it is in the comments below. I do take your guys' feedback seriously. I do try out the products that you guys recommend and I love hearing what you guys are loving as far as self tanners go. If you have any tips for self tanning, please drop those in the comments below as well. Um, I'm always trying out new tips and tricks for self tanners. If you like this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye. Um, more fun when you have help from somebody else as opposed to trying to do it yourself because it is kind of difficult to reach your back and things like that. But um, to fake tan, you definitely need to use a tanning mitt. If you don't have a tanning mitt, you're going to have a lot of streaks and a lot of issues. So make sure you get one, and this is the best tanning mitt I've ever used. I would really highly recommend. I, in certain areas that are more delicate, like your elbows, your knees, and your face, you want to make sure you're doing really small, precise circular motions to make sure that there are no streaks and no patches that it clings to. As well, make sure that like when you're doing those certain areas, press lightly. Throughout the whole process, try to press as lightly as possible, but especially on those areas that tend to weak. Shady Sun offers this Shady Afterglow Gradual Tan Lotion. This is something that I totally would not have picked out if I was um, just purchasing it myself because it just seems like an unnecessary extra product. But honestly, you guys, this is so And I use this on like my elbows, on my knees, or if I have like any dry patches, I just put it on there before applying the tan. I generally really, really is, you apply this all over your body. I used um, applicator mitt to do so, and I just applied it everywhere. And when you put on a timer and you can leave it on,